Hi everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to day 12 of the 30 day home workout challenge. Today is move and we're going to keep stepping up our game and working through loads of new movements. So let's come to standing. First thing we we'll just do is make sure you're bracing your core as we've gone over, squeezing those glutes in. So let's just do a few rounds of that. Dig into the floor, spread your feet, squeeze your glutes, hold for three seconds and then release. And again, into the floor, splay the feet, bring the glutes together, bringing the pelvis into neutral and release. Good, three more. While we're doing this, we're gonna think about inhaling and exhaling, filling our lungs with air and drawing that belly button in at the same time, squeezing glutes and core together again. Bring it on in. Lovely, let's do one for luck. Really get those feet down into the floor and squeeze, roll your shoulders back. So, everything we do from now on, we need to take at your own pace, make sure you've got plenty of space in your home. Listen to your body, don't do anything that doesn't feel good to you. And roll it back. Nice. Starting with our RDLs, we're just gonna do small ones to start with. So we're hinging from the hip, letting the knee come back, keeping that back in one lovely line, hands come down the leg, Feet spread into the floor like you're ripping a newspaper. Glutes contract and then we squeeze. So let's make sure that our belly button is drawn in and our feet are in the floor. You'll feel a huge contraction in these glutes, even without weights, as you bring them in. And again, take it down. Good, lift and squeeze. And again, bum comes back. Nice, we're gonna add into this movement straight away. As long as you feel comfortable, we're gonna sweep the arms up, bring them down into this lovely pull down position. Hands come down the body and splay the fleet, fleet, splay the fleet and squeeze as we come up. Again, lift up, pull those elbows back, contract your back, hands come down the body, keeping that chest open. Lovely and squeeze. Three more, inhale, bring it open. Contract your back, keep that back pin on the whole time. Nice, and squeeze the butt cheeks. So they come up into the body, um, rather than thrusting through. So you'll see lots of people do that when they're lifting in the gym. They kind of go, Ugh. but we're not doing that because we're not those kind of people. And we know that our glutes contract better when we just bring them up and lift into the body. Beautiful, last one, and squeeze. Nice, let's drop into an alternate leg lunge. So we're dropping down, keep it slow to start with, pick the heel up, make sure your pelvis is nice and central. So let's do 10 here, and build some heat in the front of our legs. Nice, dropping down, lifting up where you can, and only coming down as low as you feel, let your body wake up one beautiful joint at a time. Nice. And again, for luck. Cool, let's do a few more. Just make sure we feel super happy and super warm. And again. Nice, so when you finish with that, we're just gonna open up through the hip. Give me 10 of these. Just let all your little crunky bits work themselves out. Lovely. And just two more. Okay, we're trying a different kind of lunge today. So if this is too intense, don't forget you can dial it straight back to the alternate leg lunge. We're gonna do two sets of these on each leg. So just do double the amount of reps on the alternate leg lunge that we just did. If you can, we're gonna step back, heel comes up and then we walk through. Then we take it back, so that's one rep. Dropping down, trying to kind of coast through so that there's always some load on this leg here. That's three, we're going for 10. Four, nice. It's really good for the balance and to really nail that lunge position. Five more if you can, drop down. Make sure you come up on your toe, whichever your back leg is at the time, and only go as deep as you feel is appropriate for you. Single leg work like lunges are really important so um, that we can make sure that we have equilibrium 
both sides of our body. Really nice, when you've done your 10, we're gonna switch legs. Oh, you can feel that heat coming straight away, can't you? Let's switch straight in on the other side. And build the power. I should never sing to you, but I really wanna sing the power of love, which is, should be illegal for me. Nice, keep going, five more. Keep that core on. I know it's burning, but we're hard and it's day 12. So we were expecting a little bit of pain, weren't we? One more, good. And when you're done, shake like a Polaroid picture. Ease it out and just take a moment to let everything have a little breather. Well done. We are doing it again, but we're gonna start with our RDLs, give your quads a little break. So we'll do five here, inhale. <sighs> Fill your lungs with air, pin your back, bring your hands down. Feel that stretch in the back of the legs, spread the butt cheeks and draw them up, contracting. And again, <sighs> really nice. Don't forget, you can have your favorite music on when we're doing this. So whatever makes you feel super happy, put it on in the background and it will help to keep you pumped while you're training at home. Nice, last one for luck. We're going back into our lunches for our lunches. I wish it was lunchtime. We're going back into our lunges, forward and back if you can, alternate leg if you can't, it's totally fine. 10 on each leg, and then you'll be really, really pleased to know that we're hitting the deck. Okay, 10 on each leg, summon the power of grace goal, and then drop straight in. 10, and move forward a little bit. So you don't have to rush these. Don't forget you can always pause me at any point so that you can finish your set. It's not live, so you can even pause me at awkward moments when I'm, I look like a giant peanut moving around, good. Two more. Push into the heel of the front leg. When you're done with your 10, we're gonna reassess our position, come straight in on that other leg. Forward and back. Yeah. Well done, keep that moving. Finish off your 10, I've actually just lost count. So I'm gonna call that 10. And then done. Well done, shake it out. That's what happens when you're thinking about other things, you see, when you're working out. We should be counting those reps. Okay, we're coming down to an exercise we've done before, but we're going to progress it today. So come into your tabletop position. Our feet are gonna push flat into the floor for this first bit. Just get grounded in, bring those elbows through, packing your back in and just ease up here and bring it down. So if you don't want to tuck your toes and come up into a beast, which is what we're doing, you can stay here and mobilize the spine. That's absolutely cool. So just stay here and work through this. If you're ready, we're gonna tuck the toes. We're gonna come up and hold four, up, five, four, three, two, and one. And then lower. If you need to, you can move your wrists. If you can, we're gonna come back to the end of your mat, your space. So you can carry on either mobilizing, doing your beast. Alternatively, we're gonna tuck the toes and you're gonna join me and crawl with your knees hovering above the floor to the top of your mat and back. Lovely. And again, one more, and then we'll all rest together. Just crawl and pause, and then bring it back. Lovely. And then rest. We're gonna do it one more time. Really brace and pull the abdominals in towards your spine. And we'll go, so wrist roll if you need to, tuck the toes, and then just get straight in there. 
opposite hand to leg, Anna. Wouldn't make a very good bear, would I? Maybe a badger. And then when you're back, you can rest, come off your wrist and rest them if you need to. Fantastic. Okay. We're going to keep working on our hands and knees for a safer man. So we've done this one before as well. But now we're nice and braced in the core. We're going to lift and extend, trying to squeeze through the back and the glute. Let's do five on this side. Lift and squeeze. Good. Again. Really, really nice. Keep it moving. Bring that butt cheek up and pause. Fighting to keep your pelvis level and your core brace. Good. Last one. And lift. Well done. Knee down and change sides. Bringing it up. Contracting the butt and the back and the core all at the same time. And again. Good, two. Really nice. We're doing one more set on each side. Five reps. Ground in, get that foot flat. And lift. Some people can do this in the plank. So if you've got super crazy plank skills, you can go ahead. But the rest of us are going to stay here on our hands and knees, opposite hand to leg, flowing up five at a time. So for the next exercise as well, five is going to be our magic number. So I'll lift and squeeze, get one more. Fab. Bring it in, flip onto your lovely back. Yay, I hear you say, we're on our back. Wonderful. We're doing five single leg glute bridges and then five oblique crunches. Just have faith. Bring your favorite leg in. Put your, make sure you're down to your elbows in the floor at least. And then we're gonna come up for five. So we're trying to bring this pelvis up with that nice comfy little pelvic tilt that we talked about before. Two more, squeezing in, and one, good. Now we put both feet down, we're gonna come across reaching for the leg that we did our glute bridge on. Crunch over, bring it back to flat, and crunch, good. So you can have your hands at your temples if you want, four, and five, good. We're going straight back in on that leg, elbows dig into the floor, and pick it up, five. Three. If we can, try not to let our butt cheeks rest at the bottom. And then set up how it feels natural for you for your oblique crunch. Good. Five. Four. If that was taxing, you're going to stay there with five reps of each and do me two more sets. If you were okay, we're going to go over for ten this time on exactly the same leg. Elbows down in the floor. Lift and squeeze for ten. Nine. Good, let's pick it up for five more if you can. Otherwise, go straight into your five on five. Yeah. Fingertips to temples, ten oblique crunches coming across the body. Loads of control. Try not to bounce anything. Draw in that belly button down. Picking the shoulder blade from the floor. It's halfway. <sighs> Exhale on the effort. Nice. And one more. Well done. We're changing legs. So two sets of five. Push into that heel and squeeze your glutes. Four, nice. Make sure they're on and rock hard. Give them a little slap. Three, two, and one more. Good. Fingertips temple if you prefer. Coming across and down. Trying to keep both feet in the floor. Let's get some real rotation happening. Three, good. Two. 
And one, nice. Back into your single leg glute bridge, elbows down. Push. I feel like I'm leaving you all. Keep lifting, give me that five. Awesome, feet come down, bringing it across. Five, four, two more. Now, as we said before, you can carry on with that five. Alternatively, we're gonna try 10. So you need to do two rounds of five to go, or we're gonna try 10 on one exercise, 10 on the other. Everything is controlled, there's no butt cheeks resting on the floor at all. Squeeze into that glute. Three more, two, and one. Awesome, feet down, coming in for 10 of these. Nine. You got it, there's no rest, so just keep reaching, controlling it. Don't let your body flop on the floor. Three more. Two. And one. Awesome. Let's rest. Bring those knees in and roll out your lower back if you need to. Okay, we're going to try today a sit up. So you can stay with the crunches and you can add in the same arm, but just keep it really low with the elbow in front of the body. We're going to try um, the start of something that could be quite nice for everyone. <laughs> we're going to do a sit up and try and keep one arm in the air if you can, otherwise you can have your hands on your chest, fine. So we're gonna come up, you're trying to push into the floor and lift, lower it back down. And again, coming up and push that arm up in the air, good. Three more on this side, squeeze, good, two more. Brace it in, exhale on the effort. You can try digging your heels in the floor if that helps and come down, now change hands. So we're going to push up. Ooh. So there's a lot of uh, back and shoulder happening here too. As you squeeze down into your body, so your posture becomes nice and long at the top. And two more. Lift up. And last one. Yeah, bring it down. Hug those knees in. We're going to do one more set. I'm always like leaving you. I'm like a dolphin flipping or a seal. Flipping out the screen. Roll your back out. Let's do it again. Last set and then you're totally finished. Join in, trying to keep that arm up so it's above your shoulder now. If you can't come up, I want you to use your elbow for support as you bring it up. Alternatively, you can put weight on your feet. Lift up three, so I'll just show you. Keep going, two more on this side. So you can hook your feet under the sofa or you can use something to weigh you down. When you're done, you're gonna do five on the other side. Squeeze. Two. And one more. Yeah, well done. You know that we're gonna end up with something in that hand, don't you? We are, just not today. Really, really well done, that was awesome. So if you want to go back over and do it again, you always can. Otherwise, you can return to day three, look at reset, and give yourself a lovely stretch all over. Well done, and I'll see you tomorrow for more action.